Hope you guys are ready for another episode of Double D's in your face. That's right. Well, I guess we could we could go over a couple things like, like just simply like asking about that. How was Christmas? How was New Year's? What did you uh did you did you get another lump of coal this year? No, I got an IOU for a lump of coal. I wasn't even good enough to get a damn lump of coal. Well, gee, again, I look at that a lump of coal is like precious metal but oh the democrats may not like it too much because it may not be part of the the new green deal they well, want you, they, well, they, you they, the way you scream of you squeeze a penny into submission yeah hey, lump of coal be a diamond in two two and a half hours well see that's good to know people like me there dad yeah i mean you know it's not gonna do any good if you uh are trying to run around uh if you're gonna try to run around with this, what are you what are you gonna do with this if, the, if if there's no electricity? But with a lump of coal, you can still do something. That's it. it. That's it. You know, rub it real fast, make sparks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you get, um, half the trucks or three quarters of the trucks, um, in New York City, um, you know they're electric. So they, they're only good for four hours, too. And then they can't plow snow. They only dr- collect the, the garbage, the garbage trucks. So oh, they, okay. can, they can only collect the garbage, but they can't plow the snow for them. So they have to go back, revert to the um Now, gasoline. I think that's, that's, a good, uh, that's a good spending of, of our resources on vehicles that are only good for four hours. Over $500,000 a piece. Oh, that's it. Whoa. Yeah. What a what a deal. That must be yeah. one of those Biden specials right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. One of them Democrat specials, yeah. Fucking well. Dumb. Oh okay. Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Hell no, I'm perfect. What do I need to make resolutions? Oh, well, see, I I, I'm almost not worthy to be in, yeah. in your presence here right now, you know? What are you thinking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Stefan Bonner passed away. Yeah, Stefan you know? was a good guy. Yeah, I guess he was from, he had an infection from, uh, he got from a uh, wrestling injury when he was doing pro wrestling. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess he ended up getting an infection, and that was pretty much what led to this. Where at? Where was the infection in his um, spine? Um, let's see. He, um, I know he was having a lot of problems with that broken spine at the end. Yeah, yeah. It was like a hand and I think a spine. It was a hand injury and a spine, but it was the spine where the. Well, I hope, his, I hope his widow sues the shit out of the bastards, you know, because mm-hmm. they refused. They refused to give him any any help at the ER. You yeah, know? yeah, because they said he's right. just being the drug addict, you know. Yeah. yeah. Really? That is that what 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 doubt? Was all yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I yeah, I saw the, the headlines. It was, online. it was online where they refused him and he's filming saying I've got a broken spine. I need something for the back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it was I mean it said it was he was in there for a while before. I mean, he was in the hospital in and out and fighting this for a little while before I finally got him. Yeah, but that that sucks. That's sorry well, to hear. I, I get it. Just, you know, just to know that yeah. as young as young as he was to pass away, like like that in a country like the United States with all the uh, medical advanced things that we have here, that that's that's wrong. It's totally wrong. I totally agree with uh, what 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 Don's saying there right now. That uh, there needs to be some things looked into, and uh, maybe uh, the medical system needs to be sued to put them back in check and balance. Get back to actually taking care of patients. Uh, I, I I just don't care for the way that the medical industry is so influenced by the big pharmaceutical companies to keep pushing them uh, to uh, pain pills and just, just, just tablets. It's like, you know, they don't really want to cure you because it cuts them off from their monthly, you making their monthly donations to their cause. Yeah, but that was the problem is that, you know, he was on long-term uh, pain kill, pill, um Painkillers. Yeah. And um, so they wouldn't give me an acute, you know, I'm on the same thing. Sean McCorkle's on the same thing. You uh-huh. know, if you're on long term care, you, you go to the ER, they're not gonna they're not gonna give you anything no matter what. Because they figure you have enough in your system already. Which is not true because it's a whole different type of pain coming in, you know. 
And um, so they just, they looked at you as a drug addict trying to get more pills. Um, like when I went in with that, I had that bite from that brown recluse. You know, I went in there and the doctor, I was already in the room, in bed. It was like 11 o'clock at night. You know, IV hooked up and all that. Doctor comes in and says, and what's your your story? I says, uh, I don't know. I think I got bit by, by a brown recluse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, that's what all drug addicts say. I said, excuse me? That's what all drug addicts tell me. He says, you know, it's, it's on my fucking hand down here. Well, there's veins there. You you put the needle in there. And that way it doesn't leave a mark. And you know, like, lady, you're out of your mind. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They just don't believe the things you say, you know. And then, and they, like I said, they won't give you anything, any relief. You know, McCorkle's got it worse back than I do. And um, he just went to Germany trying to get a new new uh, surgery done. And th- he ended up getting hurt worse, you know, by the stupid-ass doctor over there. Is it because he was seeking uh, th- things that they would not do here in the United States? Or was it? Uh... Yeah, yeah. But I mean, all, uh, he didn't even get cut open. I mean, the, the doctor was like doing some chiropractic shit, jumping on him or something like that. And he said, "Get the fuck away from me!" <laughs> you know? Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Well, again, well, again, well, what I want people to realize, though, when they, when they watch is that uh, Stephen Bonner was actually involved in that uh, fight there with Forrest Griffith. Mm-hmm. From the yeah. Ultimate Fighter show, that, save, save, season the, one. save the UFC. Yeah. Oh, I, I again, yeah, that, that, so so many people have shared that fight, and, and it really, I you know, it, it helped launch the the UFC at a whole different level from where it was because it was it was barely hanging on. Yeah, they're and, getting ready to sell it. Yeah, they're actually yeah. sell it. Yeah. So again, just just for people to just know that that. Uh, he, you know, he he had his place in the uh, in history, yeah. and uh, you know, whatever else he he did. I mean, I'm sure everyone's got you know the pros that are cause of what they've done in, in, in their in their life in their lifetime. They're they're, they're proud moments that are maybe not so proud moments, but uh, you know, he definitely is something that uh, should be remembered for you know advancing uh, the whole UFC and, and the the mixed martial arts movement in itself for making such a uh, Incredible, fantastic uh, combat match, you know. Right. Yeah, him and Forrest had a great fight. Great fight. Yep. Well, I, I think it was actually to point that. Uh, I think the 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 the, 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 the is it Stephen Bonner and they had they had a child and actually named the child. The, the forces. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because okay, I remember reading that because I, I kept thinking which way was it, what, who had the child that, that they named it after the other one. There, I thought right. that was that's pretty good, cool little tribute to each other. Right, right. So, and you actually fought Forrest, right, Dan? Uh, well, I mean, he was that was I think way before the Ultimate Fighter show and stuff like that. I mean, he was he was just a young up and cover up and yeah, cover right. at the time. One so, of his first mean, fights, I, yeah, right. I mean, I always kind of. Always tell the joke there a little bit that uh, when I was first being interviewed, and uh, the, this is probably the first time they ever brought brought Forrest's name to me. I go, so you fought Forrest Griffin? I go, I go, who? He goes, well, Forrest Griffin. I go, well, I know, I know what Forrest Griffin. I go, I fought him, and then the uh, you know the, the guys like thinking that that like punch drunk maybe I took one too many too many shots to the head there. And I go, I don't remember him, so I go, I I go if I if I if you say I fought him, and I don't remember, I go. I said I must have beat him because I don't remember any of the, the, the real victories. I do remember almost all the losses because they're like etched in my mind because those are the ones that kind of haunt you. <laughs> the victories, you know, no, they don't. They, they uh, the the losses, oh, they haunt you because you you know at that point in time where either it was lack of uh, cardiovascular preparation or you did a technical or tactical error in your match and that cost you right then and there. And they capitalized on it. So, yeah. yes. And mine was uh, due, to, due to drugs because I broke them back. So, <laughs> my losses. Except for Coleman. Coleman. Coleman legitimately beat the hell out of me. Yeah. Well, that was, again, 
I, I know all about that match because I, I I was there and uh, I mean I think I actually think John McCarthy saw me uh, uh, start to stand up because I had, had a towel because I was one of the play by play color commentators there right there and literally oh bullshit so that was my reason for the tag and you were short arguing me man what you talking about <laughs> yeah I think I think I had maybe some but I think I had some potato chips on my table I was in yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah going for the crunch I thought, I thought you were reaching for my potato chip ball I was pulling it back <laughs> withdrawn <laughs> so <laughs> so did you guys hear about uh dana white smacking his wife yeah <laughs> what do you think about that situation i think that's his and her business it's no one else's business there you go you know and everybody should mind their own fucking business and um go about their own fucking life nice nicely said okay yeah. well okay but all right now, now, on a more comical sense, maybe they were starting to promote their slap boxing competitions that were coming up. Or a mix, the mixed martial arts, uh, mixed gender. Yeah, again, arts. because while we, we live in such a woke, uh, 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 you know, stupid society era here right now, that, uh, you know, why not have uh, in, inter, intergender type matches taking place here right now? Oh, wait a second. What, what's the gender? What's sex? I mean, you know, we got a Supreme Court justice can't even give a fucking definition of a woman. So come on. How would we know yeah. who's who and what's what? Well, that's, that's probably one of the wrong things about allowing judges to be Supreme Court judges forever. Right. They should have term limits on them as well because once you hit a certain age, what do you know about the world anymore? Right. How how much have you really again, you know, keeping up on current events is one aspect, but actually, you know, going out there and well, interacting no, and seeing and doing, that's a whole different thing because you could just watch one channel your entire life and you'll just get this one tainted view the entire time. So even though a, a, am I you know, I, I, I'm a true-blooded American. That's how I, I view myself, is I'm really not from one party or the other party, but I'm all, if I'm going to vote, I'm going to vote for America and Americans. Yeah. If people want to say you're a Republican, I go, oh, no, I go, I go, no, I'm, I'm voting for America and Americans. I go, I said, if that if that makes me a Republican, so be it. I've, I've voted, I've voted on both sides before, but I go, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to vote for the person that's going to fuck up our country a little less than the other person. That's what I look at. It. I go, do I like either one of these people that, are, that I have to vote for? No, but which one of you assholes are going to be the, the lesser of the two evils? So mm -hmm. there you go. Gosh, I, I, I did do a very good job here at my New Year's resolution about not cussing and stuff like that. What's oh, up yeah, with that? Yeah. You blew that one right away. <laughs> yeah, only a couple, only a couple days in, and boom, it's gone already. Well, again, but we get that. But what hey, there's always next again? year. I, I missed that, Tony. This is, there's always next year. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Don, I mean, I know we, we start to on this. Did you make any New Year's resolution? But but you said you're just perfect as is. Was that's that it. was that was that your comeback? That's it. I'm perfect. I don't need to make any resolutions. Oh, okay. Can't can't fix can't fix this. Well. You know, so at least Dana didn't take it to the step like uh, the other guy did, uh, Phil. Phil, yeah, freaking. Mm, well, he was in public. He was in uh, public. You know, he probably had to wait until he got home. You know, when they were alone in the shower, to <laughs> whack her. Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> crazy man. That. One. Yeah, okay, but Phil Brody, he was down in Mexico, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. with his uh, Mexican native girlfriend. Yeah, then his yeah. hotel there. girlfriend or wife. Um, they say girlfriend. Um, romantic partner is that and whatever that is um yeah but uh yeah that's crazy yeah, and she's a mexican native so that's he's really gonna go around go away forever yep yeah you'll probably never hear from him again oh we'll get somebody else to yeah like I, say, I didn't think about that part because if he if he got incarcerated down there is in their system yeah. going to go to trial oof oof right right that's uh. Did, did you guys hear about what happened to the guy on Monday Night Football? Yeah, they've been talking about that for all week now. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Did you did you happen to see the play? No, I did not. No, 
Yeah, yeah. the guy that, that got hit and then uh, basically kind of got up, but then uh, fell fell right back down and just killed over dead. Yeah, Demar Hamlin. Yeah, I, I again, I never saw none, none of the uh, actual footage and stuff like that, but yeah, I basically heard that through. Uh, I yeah, think they're, just oh, they're talking about it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had a heart attack. Yeah, you know, Card- how, cardiac arrest. How old is he? Twenty four. Uh, yeah, he's young. Um, well, he probably probably had had one of them uh, inoculations, you know, because <laughs> the yeah, uh, NFL that's... made made all their players, you know, get inoculated, and boom, you know, I mean, because you're talking a bunch of bunch of athletes in their prime are falling over. Yeah, you know. Well, they're saying it's a lot of people are getting blood clots and like things like that. Mm-hmm. What what are you trying to say there, Don? That uh, maybe that these all these different uh, uh, shots, immunizations, and, and booster shots, and, and and double boost, and triple boost, and and not just one mask, but two masks, and up to three masks. That's all bad for you. No, it's bullshit. Oh, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, because I can't. It wasn't. I have bad. to. I have to cover my ears. I can't. I can't believe what you're saying here. Yeah, the government, our government <laughs> might do it. Might be yeah. a, it might be it sarcastic enough here right now. <laughs> oh, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, our, oh. government, our government lied to us again. Imagine that. <laughs> but let's let's believe everything they say. They say about uh, global warming or climate change. Yeah, I I, th- I think people Fuck need it. to question more and more of our, our our government officials. But then again, you know, why are they not being uh, voted? Why out. are they not being punished? Why are they not being held accountable for their wrongs? Because because they make the rules. Oh, it's kind of like uh, what was that? Uh, those who hold the gold, the, the gold, gold makes the rules. Golden I, rule. you know, the golden rule, even the most yeah. gold makes the rules. Yes. Yeah, that that one kind of should sad. be etched in your memory. Huh. That one, I, I thought that was your nighttime prayer. You know? Well, you know, I mean, that, there's there's there there is. The God of the Almighty Dollar that uh, you know, I I, I give great uh, great praise there too all the time. But you know, uh, that 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 for that for people that do all these wrongdoings. Right now, I might I might be the person that will pick up that that penny. I might be the person that that will squeeze that dollar bill pretty darn good right there. But uh, you know, there's nothing there's nothing wrong of, of making it an honest wage and then making it squeeze it to go a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I I should be teaching people about you should be uh, yes. dad sever frugality one hundred one and there's the advanced frugality one hundred two you know these yeah. types of classes. How <laughs> <laughs> to make a penny scream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how to make that buffalo <laughs> jump off buffalo, the back of that nickel? Buffalo yeah, shit. Uh, how to make that buffalo shit? You teach it on classes. People that watch right now, they're gonna go buffalo on the back of a penny. What are they talking about? I, there's not a buffalo on the back. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta educate these poor little whippersnappers yeah, more and more because okay, too many things have happened and uh, they they're not aware of it. Even the almighty you know, dollar bills anymore, the way that they look. So, thank you for watching another episode of Double D's <laughs> in your face. You better like subscribe and share or I'm going to come to your house.